Brian, congrats on the win. Thank you. I, I see the eyes kind of banged up a little bit. How are you overall? Any any other serious bang, bangs or bruises or anything? No, nothing crazy. You know, he, he caught me with some good leg kicks there on the side of the calf. So it's a little swollen, but nothing crazy. I'm used to this. So just some ice and some time off, you know, relax, and I'll be back. And, and going into the, the decision, were you confident that you did enough to, to get your arm raised? Yeah, I thought I thought in the third round it could have been 1-1. Maybe I was up 2-0, but I wasn't sure, so I knew I had to go in with the killer instinct, try to finish. And, and man, it was tough to put that guy away, but I caught him with a lot of shots. And I think I put the pressure on in the third and took it by the, uh, the last round. It's, and it's got to be extra motivation going there, going against a former champ to, to kind of maybe just see where you stack up against champions? Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where, like, it haunts me, you know, leading up. I'm like, oh, my God, head and brow, head and brow on my head every night. I go to sleep, and I try to tell myself, like, no, you belong here, you belong here, because I knew that, and I had self-belief. But uh, fighting him was an honor, you know. It was amazing to see where I belong, to find out tonight, you know. And now I know this is exactly where I belong, and uh, I'm going to make my run for a title now. Were there any uh, things that he did that maybe surprised you that you were like, oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I'm sure you've watched enough tape on him, but were there things that he still pulled out that surprised you? Yeah, no, my, my coaches watch all the tape. I pretty much just listen and, and improvise in there, you know, and listen out for what they're seeing because every fight's different. And, uh, you know, I didn't expect that calf kick. That was actually part of our game plan. But I came in with a little bumps and bruises. I didn't want to get a checked kick and hurt my foot or something. So I wasn't letting go of my kicks, but he was, you know, so it was hurting my calf. And I was like, wow, that's new to his game. You know, he kind of saw that he was, he was hitting me there. So that was something that surprised me. But every, anything else was the same, you know. And definitely looked like you were trying to push the pace, you know, really using your hands. What was your game plan for him? Uh, yeah, I know I got more heart, you know. Uh, I could take hard shots to give hard shots. And I feel like in the third round, I was coming forward. I was in his face. And I could see him slowly, slowly breaking. And I was catching him with shots that were like, man, if I could land one more after that, I'm putting him out. Like, he looked wobbly, you know. His eyes were rolling back. But he's got a lot of heart, too, and he stayed in there. But I left all my heart in there. He, he, uh, he pushed me to the limit, so I respect that. And I know that you, you said title contention and that sort of thing is where you're going, but what's, what's the path to get you there? Who makes sense next? And, and how far away do you think you are from a, a legit shot? Yeah, like I said in the post-fight interview, John Lineker is a good matchup for me. I think that's a guy that I should fight next. Uh, he, he was going to fight Jimmy Rivera. That fight fell out. I was one of those guys on Christmas morning willing to step up on five days' notice to take that fight because I know I belong here. I know I belong in the top ten, and I know I'm going to be world champ. So I'm willing to fight anyone, and I think John Lineker is just a guy that's ready for a fight. A couple months, Atlantic City seems perfect for me. If that's good for him, let's do this. I know that's a guy that got heavy hands, you know, likes to just stay in the bang. Is that the kind of fight that you like to, you like to get in those ones where you might just meet in the middle and throw and see who goes down first? Yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I think I showed in this fight in the third round I can get in there and exchange with anybody. You know, Burrell's knocked out the best of the best. You know, he's got power in his hands, but I didn't feel it, to be honest. I mean, I got some bumps and bruises, but I was never rocked in the fight. I never once second-guessed if I was going to be good to go. But, uh, yeah, Lineker, we could stand in there and trade. I'm not afraid of his power, and uh, I think I can give more back. How do you uh, celebrate a victory over a legend like Henan Burrell? I mean, that's not just an everyday victory. I mean, you really, I mean, you beat one of the best ever in the sport. Yeah, this is something special, man, but uh, I'm a simple guy. You know, it's just me and my crew, my coach Nabi Barakat over there, my dad, my brother. Uh, that's my crew, you know, that's my circle, so I'm going to hang out with them. My, uh, my manager, Sucker Punch Entertainment, Brian Butler, actually got me a custom bottle of bourbon whiskey with my name Boom on it, so <laughs> we'll probably make a toast with that, and that's about it. Not going to take advantage of any of Orlando while you're here? Like I would love to. I don't know much about Orlando. I don't know if you guys could help me out, but yeah, I'd love to get out on the town. Seems like a real nice town, and Long Island <laughs> doesn't give me no sun, so. <laughs> what part of Long Island? Uh, Suffolk County. We're in Selden. Selden? Yeah. From Corum. Also, yeah, right next door. Yeah. Um, did you, were you surprised that he didn't go down at the end of the third round? Because he looked like he was slipping on ice. 100%. I was like, I was like one like, more. Like I was saying, like, I hit him with one where I just felt my fist go through his face. And I look at him and his eyes are wobbled. And then I'm throwing another haymaker and he just ducks under it. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> one more. Throw another one. He just ducks under it. And we were just exchanging. But I must have hit him with like seven, eight, nine, ten punches that were solid that I was like, all right, he looks like he's going out. Looks like he's going out. But he just, he stays up wobbly, you know? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.